Hello everybody, welcome to the Honest Mama YouTube channel. My name is Claudia and I've finally taken the courage and the plunge to show my face in uh, one of my videos. It has taken me a little while to get here, but we're here now, so hopefully with practice I will only get better. <laughs> now I just want to take this little space before uh, as an introduction before this video just to say thank you so much for your support and for taking time in watching my videos. Um, it means a lot to me and it's just a new experience that I would like to share with everybody. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, introduce you to another review of another Juju B bag. So please take a seat, have a lovely cup of tea and coffee and enjoy and thank you again. Hello everybody and welcome to the Honest Mama YouTube channel and today I would like to review the Juju B ballad backpack. Um, this was one of my, I think it was my second um, backpack style. The first one was the um, was the B or B. The B right back, but I sold it on because I just wasn't happy how it packed for me. The organization was amazing, but it just didn't work for me. So today I am coming to you with the um, ballad pack backpack. It is in the rose uh, noir uh, color. It has rose gold hardware, as you can see, and it's made of plain black material. So the way it's made, it's presented itself, we have a front side pocket here. As you can see, most of my hand goes in. Okay. Then we have a top zipper pocket here, and this is made with felt uh, material inside. And this would be considered as your tech pocket. At the side here, we have another zip uh, pocket, and this would be your uh, compartment or pocket for your sippy cups or a bottle of water. And then there is no other uh, zip compartment or anything at the back. We just have this lovely mesh material here um, for the back that is actually really comfortable. And the straps as well. As you can see, they're nice and squishy, so they are really, really comfortable. And the way they kind of go round at the top here, they really follow the shoulder and the neck. So it's a really, really, really comfortable bag to, uh, to carry. Then it opens up with the two zipper pulls here. And the zips go quite low down. And then you can open up the whole bag. This is what sold me the bag. It's the opening. You can pack it as you like, but at least you open it up and you have a full on view of what you have in your diaper bag. So it has one big large compartment in the middle. It has two mesh pockets here, two mesh pockets at the back and then one large pocket at the back as well here. It comes with a light change pad and some um, stroller clips. The stroller clips are on my uh, pram at the moment. And then the uh, light change pad I have in one of my <clears throat> bee dappers that I use around the house to change um, my uh, baby's nappies. So what I was thinking to doing with you is to pack it up and to see how much uh, it holds and how we pack it up. But it, it is absolutely a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic bag. And the lining inside is embossed with the Jujube, if you can see there, the Jujube pattern. Okay. So here we go. So we're going to start packing it up. So what I'm, I'm going to start to do is I'm going to start packing the inside and then um, generally then would go uh, and pack the outside. So I'm going to swap and change how I pack the um, ballad pack back, back, back. I'm going to start using for my change of clothes. I, instead of using my usual... Um, <clears throat> wet bag from the Be Equipped. I'm going to be using the medium set piece for my flying keys from the Be Organized. It's just here like that. 
Okay, I'm just going to put it a little bit lower there so we can all see. Okay, so I'm just going to put set the back to the side here. I'm going to take out all my clothes that I have for my child. So I have a jumper and, well, it's more like a long sleeve top, a pair of a tracky bottom, a pair of socks, and then a, a bodysuit, long sleeve bodysuit. So that's everything I had in there and I'm going to place it in the medium set piece from the Be Organized in Flying Keys. Now as you can see there's so much more space that we can pack this a ton. I really love these if I need a few change of clothes and I need to put also extra bibs in it, uh, even if I need to put a muslin cloth in there, everything, everything can fit into a medium one and they're like squishy as well so you can squish them and place them in your diaper bag. And then also what I've decided to do is I've decided to change from my usual large set piece from the B, um, uh, B sets and I'm going to place them in my B dapper of my flying keys. Just to quickly review, the kind of go over the, the, the B dapper, it's a big long bag as you can see and it has a front compartment and the lining is just amazing inside and it has one main compartment here but its capacity is amazing you could use this for uh, food for nappies also nappy and um, changes of clothes for toys for activities for makeup for our, ourselves you know for quite a lot of things so I must say it is one staple piece that we should all have um, in our collection for the jujube so I'm going to take everything out and place everything sorry the back keeps falling over and place everything in the bag here now normally with my older be dappers oh it fits sorry it would fit kind of standing up so I would do the same here and here I have a disposable change mat and then also my normal antiseptic toilets and my uh, nappy sacks there there you go holds everything and with as you can see look extra room to spare so if you're really using a bag that's quite small and you're limited with space I could would definitely recommend as well to use a bidapper for everything I'm just going to quickly show you here what you can do as well is you can place also your change of clothes in with the bidapper I'm just roughly putting it in now I'm not really neatly tidy putting it in because I'm just it's a quick kind of demonstration here so as you can see look how it opens amazingly so you have your wipes your nappies your light change pad uh, disposable change pad and um, nappy sacks and then cream and then you have your change clothes as well and it would all fit into the bee dapper And just hold it together for a little bit there and you're not even there we go and everything fits and obviously if you would place it a little bit more neatly it would actually because I have a few look at space here as well that I can still use so it's a definite definite must have a be dapper one of a kind one of a kind so I'm just gonna quickly take them out place them back in the be organized I just like to have them separate because I've just got the room um, in the bag so I'm gonna zip it up zip this up now I'm going to place the be dapper nice and tall there I'm gonna place the be organized at the bottom there so these are easy just to take out in and out Then his toys. Just gonna place them at the back there. My little pouch with extra spoons and bibs are going there. 
my medical kit and flying keys. Now I didn't purposely use everything flying keys. It's just I just I, I just grabbed what was handy there for me. I'm gonna place that in there. As you can see, it fits nice and neatly. Then I'm going to grab some of uh, the wipes and a spare bib. So my usual wipes, I'm gonna place them in the front pocket here because I'm gonna swap around because this one is a little bit smaller, as you can see. It's just a fraction smaller than the other one. So this would fit better in this mesh pocket here. And then my wipes that are a little bit wider would fit great in there. And then a bib as well, I would just pop it here for easy access. Toys. <clears throat> His toys that I carry with me in a diaper bag are here. And I will just really just place them. Uh, yeah, maybe just place them. Maybe, let me see what I will do. Seeing that I don't have a compartment exactly as big as I would have normally in my BFF, I'm just going to take a medium set piece and I'm going to place them in the medium set piece of a, let me see now. I'm going to place them in another medium piece here of another Be Organized because then I can put more toys in here. Like one and two and three. And I also have his car. And then if we need to add like a cuddly toy or anything, I think he normally likes a cuddly toy. So I'm just going to grab a cuddly toy and place a cuddly toy in there. There we go. So then I'm going to pop that back there, nice and neatly place the toys here, slide again in a lovely way there the um, be dapper. And then here I have his usual snacks that I'm just going to place there. And that's it really. You've got plenty, plenty, plenty of room to actually place also a um, little cardigan. I'm going to show you just for the purpose to um, show you this um, video. There's a cardigan there for him, like a, a, a hoodie or anything. And there you go. It zips up really nicely. Then I have tissues here. I have my wallet and my little uh, coin purse where I have my usual lip balm and lips up and chewing gum I would normally put them in the side pocket here Two. actually I would put my tissues in here and the crane in there and then also I would place my phone and my keys here there's plenty of more room see plenty plenty going and then the last thing that's left to place in is my sippy cup now one thing I would suggest about the sippy cup that if I would put it in first as you can see I'm having a bit of trouble to just pop it in but because everything that I've placed in here I'm going to show you is kind of squishy it just needs a little bit of maneuver because it occupies a little bit of space from your uh, interior part of your bag so place it in there close it up and then close this one again Now, the only thing that I have to place there is my passy pod. I'm going to place it up here. And my pink lady star. Then I'm going to place it here. So there you go. There you go. It's quite compact. If you can see, it's not that wide. It's quite sleek. 
as well as a shape. It fills a multitude and I haven't even overpacked it. You could also put a thermos for food here nice and easy or a um do you know what to be equipped you have the small fuel cell you can place a small fuel cell there it is quite his it's it's a his cap sorry i got confused <laughs> my, my the the capability capability of holding so much with the juju b is just amazing so i would definitely recommend it the hardware is of good quality it's again again it's machine washable um the only thing i have to say is against like if it's a con uh for the ballot pop pack part is i would love if it would had some um kind of rings to clip it onto the the actual pram but it this one is actually a truly if you're a truly dedicated backpacker this is the one for you now I hope you enjoyed it and sorry now for uh, sometimes stumbling ac across my words. Uh, it's just taken me a little bit of practice to shoot these videos. Um, but I thank you so much for taking your time to watching this video. And if you'd like to support me, please hit that subscribe button and um, give me a thumbs up. So thank you again and I shall see you on the next video.